Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And I kind of mimicked Dario at the start of my video there, but whatever. Let's move to Star City now. One of my favorite courses in the game, if not my favorite course. Star City. It's really cool. Oh my god, like, how can you not just fangasm over the whole atmosphere of this place? Plus, it's got really cool music, too. I think this is the same music as Space as like Space Dust Alley, but it's still really cool music, so it deserves to be heard as many times as possible. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Didn't expect to just fly over that downhill thing there. Yeah, this part's kind of annoying, especially if you don't know how to do sharp turns, because there's all these jagged corners. And there's a zipper right there, which I tend to miss most of the time. Oh, and this is like my favorite part right here. It's this part at the beginning here with that huge gorge off to the left. Oh my, that's just beautiful. Like, I remember one time as a kid, I just like came to this course and I like I didn't even start the race. It was, it was like, go! And then I just turned to the left and I just stared out there. I just took in the view. It's like that one part at the end of a like Slimy Springs Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's just this massive, beautiful gorge. Except this one's in space and it's like all rainbowy, fruity colors. Oh, and you just have to take it in. It's just amazing. People say video games aren't art. Oh, I compel you to look at this and it dis ends. Oh, eat your heart out. I like this little rainbow tunnel here too. It feels like you're going through like warp speed! Go! <laughs> There's like a monorail up there. I don't know what that's about. So many cute, so cute. So many just little details around here. I guess they're kind of cute. Probably my favorite little details. Actually, it's like coming up here. It's um, I think around this corner. Yeah, it's those two spinning hoops there. I just love that. I always love those like little contraptions. There's scientific contraptions that <laughs> they don't really make sense when you first look at them, but then you look at it a little deeper and you're like, oh yeah, that does make sense, and it's really cool too. There you go. That is Star City! Star City. Dark Moon Caverns. <laughs> oh, gee. And so now we just get tossed right back out. And as you can see, we've got a whole new set of challenges here. We've got to go do the silver coin challenges. These aren't too bad, really. I didn't get stuck on any of them like I did in Greenwood Village. Oh, that was a catastrophe. Almost every time I do that, it's a catastrophe. Alright, there's a silver coin. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Someone, like, shot me with a missile through that zipper. I don't know what happened there. Well, I do know what happened. Someone shot me with a missile through a zipper. I just said that. Oh, right, yeah. That electricity doesn't really detriment you at all. Like, it seems like it would, because you're flying through electricity. But it actually really doesn't do anything. Alright, I don't remember. Is there a coin up here? If not, I'm just... Oh, there is a coin up there. I saw that. Right in the middle of the electricity field. Danger, high voltage. Danger, Will Robinson. Alright, there should be a silver coin at like the end of this tunnel. Yeah, right in between all four of those balloons. And what planet is that off to the off in the distance, do you think? <laughs> I just saw Crunch, he just hit that uh he hit the frickin' tree. Why are there trees in outer space? I I just thought of that. Like, why are they here? Shouldn't they not be able to grow? I don't know. I guess we're on some kind of planet, so it kind of makes sense. Because I, I assume there's an atmosphere here. Otherwise, how are we alive? So I guess it makes sense after all. What? Oh, now I have a bad feeling. Because I think there's actually a silver coin, silver coin in that little passageway underneath, too. But I can't, like, get that one on top and on the bottom at the same time. Or on the same lap, anyways. I don't know, maybe there's not, maybe I'm not thinking, or maybe I can pull off a miracle here and get both of them in the same lap. I have a feeling that I can if I just maneuver right. But that still leaves an issue of, like, a third silver coin that I'm missing. I think it's actually just over here, like, off to the other side. Oh yeah, over behind this tree. That whole symmetrical thing, you gotta love it. No one hates symmetry. 
that's the one universally loved thing about art or whatever. All right, that's that silver coin. Come on, fly under. Oh, there is. Okay, here it is. But now I'm in second, so I don't know if I can. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm in first. So I think I got this. Wow. I was getting pretty risky towards the end there. I was kind of nervous, but looks like I pulled through. I pulled my bootstraps up. <laughs> That's the funniest expression ever. Pulled my bootstraps up. Uh, that's like saying, like, I tied my shoelaces. Like, what? <laughs> Dog moon cabins. I think this is this might be like the hardest silver coin challenge in Future Funland. This might be in like one probably the easiest course in normal runs. This might be one of the harder silver coin challenges. But at least you got this awesome music to listen to the whole time. Yeah. Man, I can't imagine what this place is like in Adventure 2. Well, I can it's because it's gonna be mirrored, but it's just there's so many like weird turns that like I wouldn't be able to get used to it to have to adjust every turn to go in the opposite direction instead. Well, I guess that's kind of what makes mirror mode so hard, anyways. <laughs> Is that you're, you expect to go one way, but then you have to go the other one. It's the whole fun of it, I guess. It's adapting to new strategies. Adapting to new lifestyles. What am I talking about? I missed, the lot. I missed a lot of coins on that first lap that I should be able to get, like this one. Another one that's kind of like that. Well, there's this one. I should. I should have. I thought I actually got that one. Should have got that one too. There's one in the middle here. It's kind of. Did I get that? I think I did. I think I heard the very end of that sound effect that signifies that I got it. You got it. You made it. Oh jeez, and I'm over the loop-de-loop -loop again. I think it would have been pretty cool if they put like a, one of the silver coins actually on the loop-de-loop. -loop. Cause you you can like move around on the loop-de-loop. -loop. It's not any big deal. You can go side to side, up and down. Well, not really up and down. Well, I guess you're kind of going up and down the whole time now, aren't you? All right, there's one silver coin, and I think I remember where it is. Should just be out here, right? Right, right, right. And I got it. Go for it. So encouraging. Yeah, they're always so encouraging in this game, except on that whiz pig race. Like I said, the whole pessimistic ass atmosphere. The pessimistic ass atmosphere. <laughs> wow. That's probably one of the funnier, like, the mispronunciations or speech. Shut up. Ass atmosphere. It's a hard word to say to ass atmosphere. I guess it's not that hard. First! What time? I'm 23 minutes? Yeah, that's not bad. Mm, that's 20. Not for this video. Not 23 minutes for this video. My timer's not that far off. It's 23 minutes for this recording because oh, I just finished that first video, that, well, that last video, part 16, not too long ago. Aw, oh, gee. Right, this this silver coin challenge is pretty hard too, as you probably would have gathered. Mm. There's one silver coin off to the side here. They always gotta put one like that. That's way off to the side, and it'll put you really far back in the race when you go to get it. They can't not do that. It's a sickness. One right in the middle there. That's cool. This place kind of reminds me of um, Fleet Glide Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I just talked about Super Mario Galaxy 2 at the very end of the la or the very beginning of this video, actually, I think it was. Not the end of the last video. Oh, I guess I just have it on the brain. Makes sense, because I've been playing a lot of that lately. It's gonna be like my 20th run through of that game, it's ridiculous. I have a sickness. I'm saying like the developers have a sickness putting one off to the side all the time. One silver coin in. I have a sickness. I'm addicted to Super Mario Galaxy 2. But it's just so much fun. I just, you just can't not love it. Alright, where's the rest of the silver coins? There's one right there. And then I think the other one is actually, like, up here. Yeah. 
It's at the top of that tunnel. That's like the one spot you would never expect to look. Because normally they make you like go off to like random sides. Like just off to the side for uh, the silver coins. So you don't expect to be going up to find one. Kind of unnatural. Unnatural like curly fries. Now I want curly fries, damn it. <laughs> Okay, there's a silver- Right there! Right there! Yeah, yes. I almost forgot where it was, and then I realized at the last second, like, right as I was almost next to it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's over there. It's like, oh yeah, missiles, right. And win! And win. Jeez. I wonder what kind of other games you could apply that to. The and win thing. <laughs> I can't think of any off the top of my head. I'm sure there's plenty that you could use that catchphrase in, but... None that I can think of. Alright, so... Uh, we should just we should have just enough time to finish off this Silver Coin Challenge. Actually, we should have some time left over after we do finish this Silver Coin Challenge. This one's not that hard. And there's like so so like few places to place them that it's just like it's just I can't talk today. I can't talk at all. What am I talking about? I can't talk today. Have you noticed that I've been able to talk appropriately in any video I've ever done? It's insane. Ah, stupid bumper. Yeah, that one's kind of annoying because you have to kind of you almost have to hit the wall there to get it. But as long as you get it on the first lap, you should be able to recover quite quite nicely. Well, I got all the co coins on my first lap. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while now, have I? Figured I would do that in the very last silver coin challenge of the whole game. Yeah. Am I going to do the trophy race in this video too? I don't think I'll have time. But I almost want to, because I almost like want... Because next episode is going to be episode 18, which is like, as many of you know, it's like my favorite number, slash my lucky number, slash whatever. It's partially why I'm named Argon Matrix. And yeah, there's that whole story behind that, but, um... And I kind of just want this LP to end on that, just for the sake of the epicness of it. But I still have to show up that trophy race in this place. I guess I don't have to, because there's really no point to it. Not like with the other trophy races, because with those ones they had a point. Because that's how that's how you're in future fun land. You have to get all the trophies in those trophy races in order to actually get here. So you can honk in front of the sign and bring forth you know, open the path through the ocean like Moses. Or open the path to the sky, I guess. Oh yep. And it looks like we did it. Jeez, I think we had less trouble with the silver coin challenge this year than we did with the actual, like, races. So we lost once on the races in Spaceport Alpha. I don't know, Bumper was crazy fast in that race. Oh! Uh-oh. That's right. Wait, no! Don't thrust me in now, crap! Uh, thanks everyone for watching this Argo Matrix. Thank you and good night!